This chilling incident is shedding light on the important role CPR can play in saving lives. According to the CDC, 90% of people who have cardiac arrest outside the hospital do not survive. If CPR is administered correctly within the first few minutes, survival rates can double or even triple. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham shares the steps you can take to equip yourself in the event of an emergency like this. I was sitting right here with the heating pad on and it just it was just like an elephant came in the room and sat on my chest. Minutes prior, Judy Yangle says she fell in the kitchen, landing on her tailbone, a trauma that led to chest pain. Her granddaughter insisted on calling 911, soon putting her in the care of paramedics. And she said, there's something going on with your heart. And I said to her, don't let me die. And she said, we got you. Wednesday, Yangle suffered a heart attack from a blockage. As you see here, that differs from cardiac arrest, which is caused by arrhythmias. But she says she can relate to Monday night's scare for Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin and the need for immediate medical attention. I just was reading it. They were doing CPR on him for nine minutes. You know, that's probably what saved him. Yango did not need CPR. Cardiologist Dr. Brian O'Neill, chair of Wayne State University's Department of Emergency Medicine and board president for the American Heart Association Detroit chapter, says when someone does need CPR and receives CPR, their chances of being discharged from the hospital increases by threefold. And when you're doing CPR, you're maintaining blood flow to the heart itself. Because even though it's it's not beating, it's still using a lot of energy. And if you don't uh, if you don't resupply that energy, you get into something what's called the flatline or asystole, and that's never what you want. Dr. O'Neill says what happened Monday is uncommon but not unheard of. This will analyze and tell you if they need a shock or not, so it's part of the CPR process. Amanda Baroni, regional aquatics director for the YMCA Metro Detroit, shows us their AED, a defibrillator which also played a crucial role on the field Monday night. When it comes to CPR, she says it's vital for people to learn. I think it's just really important for people to feel prepared. People tend to get the certifications and then maybe not think about it again if it's not a skill that they're using all of the time. For links to information on CPR classes through the YMCA as well as the Red Cross, just head to our website, WXYZ.com. Darren Cunningham, 7. Action News. So very important. And you don't need a special certification to perform CPR. Online classes through the YMCA or Red Cross, like Darren mentioned, can provide a quick and educational overview of how to perform the life saving measure. To find a class right here in Michigan, visit our website at WXYZ.com.